Um, Zicaria Tiemens has a question. He says, when it comes to humor, how do you define what is and isn't in bad taste, especially in this age of political correctness and oversensitivity? Once again, I'm kind of back to my um, banning uh, idea from the beginning. Um, uh, well, first of all, I have a pretty simple definition of this. I thought about this a little bit because I have a very dark sense of humor and it's gotten me in a lot of trouble. Hang on a second. Let's see if I can do this without kicking the cord over. <coughs> and I and I like dark humor. Dark humor is what gets me through the, the day and the night. It's, it's really what keeps me going. Um, I think if you can't, uh, the ability to laugh at things that are horrible is, is uh, how I process things. Um, so, um, but there is definitely humor that's in bad taste. And you know, honestly, I think, uh, why is it talking? Send it outside. We don't like it. Why did you bring it here? Um, I think the answer is, uh, Zechariah, is if it's not funny, it's in bad taste. I know that sounds like a fairly um, brutal uh, definition, but if it is funny, then for me, it's okay. I mean, there's a, any number of jokes that are an appalling taste that make me laugh an awful lot, um, an awful lot. In fact, virtually all jokes are in bad taste when you get right down to it. I tell you my favorite limerick, <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about this little flu residue. My favorite limerick is, um, there once was a man from Calcutta who had the most terrible stutter. He said past the ham and the j j, -j jam and the b b b, -b, -b, -b butter I think that's brilliant. I think it's genius. That's the most genius limerick in the history of the world. Um, and it's an appalling taste. But... Um, yeah, I think, you know, generally speaking, Zachary, I'm going to come down on the side of, uh, you know what, make whatever jokes you want to. I'm so tired of people being um, offended over everything. If you don't like it, then, you know, guess what? You've been offended. Okay, guess what? I'm offended by you every single day, everywhere I go. Nothing but offended by your progressive weenieism and your constant crybabyism. Somebody hurt my feelings. <laughs> and you're not allowed to hurt my feelings. Make them stop, government. What a bunch of losers. Cindy Lou Sin. Hi, Cindy's back again. A time machine has finally been invented and you, Bill Whittle, have been offered the opportunity to travel backward or forward in time to any date you set. When would you go and what would you propose to do with your time when you got there? I would go back in time have dinner with Mark Twain. Um, if I wanted to save the country, that's not what I would do, but if I could make one trip, one place, one time, I would go um, back in time and have dinner with Mark Twain. And I'd tell him what was coming. If I wanted to go down and do something to change history, I this wasn't my idea. I think Scott I think Scott Ott came up with this. I'd go knock off Wood, Woodrow Wilson. I'd just bump him down the stairs. I think he did so much damage. You know, the 17th Amendment, uh, destruction of the Senate, the you know, income tax, all of it. I'd just get rid of the progressive figurehead, you know. Yeah, he was not a good guy. Other than that... Um, I wouldn't mind going forward to see how things turn out. Um, there's a great Futurama episode about that where they go forward in time and they just can't go back. So they just go forward all the way to the Big Bang and then things starts again and they just realize it's a giant loop. Um, so I would love to, uh, I'd love to go uh, forward and see how things turn out, but um, I can't say specifically that there's any one thing I would, you know, feel like I have to do. Uh, yeah, I, I, I did mean Sam Clemens, uh, ATS-608. He's my personal friend, and I miss him. Um, so, moving on. Uh, Zachary Tiemens again. This is all based on rankings. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not playing favorites. I'm just simply obeying the will of the people. Um, yeah, I, by the way, Viper Jack just got it. It's like he put a round into Karl Marx. I, that's actually my first thought, too. It's like I just bumped that bearded, miserable bastard off. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Sure. Let's do that. Let's do it. But let's not just use a bullet. Let's do something more fun because we know what he's going to be responsible for. Sew him into a sack with an ape and a cat and throw them into the Tiber. Um, 